<clears throat> Hello everyone, this is Mr. Hernandez, and today I will be telling you all about the Tengu masks. The Tengu in Japanese folklore are fearsome demigods, once humans that gave into greed and thus are resurrected as the Tengu who are often depicted with red faces and angry expressions, as well as the signature long nose. These masks are used for no stage plays, certain Shinto festivals, and decoration because they are thought to frighten bad spirits and bring good luck. For this assignment, the materials you'll be needing to create these masks are newspaper, which could also be substituted for construction paper, uh, fabric, and any other sort of material that kind of have the same um, physical attributes, I guess. Paint, white, black, red, yellow, and blue is all you really need, but if you need to have the secondary colors, you could have those present as well. Um, as well as plastic bags or a balloon, glue, and string or velcro. Well, I guess that's really all I can tell you right now. And I guess now I'll start showing you how to how to make a mask. All right, so this is my little setup here. Very bland, but best for showing uh, the steps about what I'm about to do. Um, so for the mold, I've got in um, plastic bags and a jacket, just so I can form um, what the face, you know, is more or less. Um, you can substitute this with um, balloons or any so other sort of uh, plastic wrapping, but generally you want to get the a good shape of or a good estimation as to the shape of your own face. And I've already cut out um, layers of fabric that I'm able to get. But you could also uh, use newspaper, which I'm more used to using. Um, and I also have my uh, glue mixture of uh, just Elmer's glue and water, uh, you know, to stretch out the, the glue and get the most out of it. Ideally, in a class, you would want to already have the glue and water mixed. That way, you save you save time, and you don't waste any glue or water by having the students kind of mix it themselves. It's just more efficient to have it already pre-mixed and ready to go for the students. So you just want to run your uh, strips of whatever material you're using into the paper mache glue mixture, and then just start placing them on there. It's not going to be a very considerable or noticeable difference immediately, but the more you stack on there, the uh, you know the closer you'll be to a finished product. And I mean, that's pretty much it. You'll see the end result at the end of this when I'm done doing all of this. Enjoy the time lapse. <laughs> 